My name is Macy Grace. Um, welcome to my channel. I wanted to come on here and film a little plant tour to just have a video to come back to in a year or so when I want to see how much my collection has grown. If you want to subscribe or like this video, that'd be cool, but I'm not asking that you do. Um, but what I really ask from y'all is just kind if you choose to comment. Pretty please. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Start here. I'm gonna try to do this fast because I already did this once and it took like 22 minutes. So if I don't know any of the names, um, I'm just gonna breeze on past. And if I get the names wrong, just let me know in the comments. Um, I want to start here because uh, he's had some pest problems. I think he had thrip, but I know he had mealybugs and I know he had some spider mites. Um, so give me some tips. He's he's good now, but give me some tips on just the general care because he has not put off any new leaves, but he's definitely dropped them. Here is my philodendron Congo green, I believe. It was unlabeled in the nursery. Uh, this is a pothos enjoy, a golden pothos, a cotton candy fern, which I don't know what's going on, but he is browning from the bottom. Um, if you have any tips, let me know. A mystery fern, which I was killing at first, but now it's be it's coming back. It's being resilient. Uh, a neon pothos. If you notice, I have a lot of pothos. That's because it is my favorite. Um, a lot of people think it's basic, but I love it. This is a Scandapsis pictus exotica um, and some uh, philodendron Brazil, which I want to just fill that with different kinds of trailing plants. Um, I think that would be beautiful. Yeah. So this is a rehabbed uh, Walmart orchid, which I don't know the color of. My beautiful, ever blooming African violet, which I got on Christmas. I got at Christmas and it has been putting off some blooms for me and I'm really happy about it. Uh, this is my Begonia Rex. I don't know exactly what type. Only Begonia just because I'm scared of them, not because they look like dinosaurs, because uh, I don't know the care. My Philodendron Prince of Orange, which really got me into Philodendron. And after I got that, um, I had to get the Macaulay's Finale. If you don't know, when this sends off a new leaf, it comes out bright orange. Macaulay comes out a red cinnamon color. Over here is the Philodendron Congo Red. This is an Aglionema, I believe, Red Star. This is a Anthurium, don't know which type, but it does have these little purple uh, modified leaves, which I believe makes it the, uh, so like a, it's called a flamingo plant sometimes. A Calathea, which I am trying to make pretty again. I give it distilled water, um, and the yellow leaves came before that, but I think I'm gonna cut them off and just keep giving it distilled water and hope that it comes back and, and looks beautiful. But it does have new shoots, so it is it is slightly happy. I believe this is a, a Calathea pinstripe. Um, that's a Calathea vichiana, or vichiana, however you say it. Um, I don't know what kind of Maranta that is, but it is a Maranta. These are all my prayer plants. That's why I have a humidifier. Um, I have a little bird's nest fern. I have some air plants, another air plant. Over here, I have a phil philodendron hope. Uh, no, philodendron moonlight, which is really struggling. He's been struggling since I got him back to the nursery to put off that new leaf. And I really hope it doesn't harden like that. This is my, oh my gosh, my beautiful pearls and jade, the star of the show. Back here, mystery syngonium, mystery syngonium. I believe that's called like a blushing red. Um, this is a Scandapsis pictus algerius. I leave an asparagus fern, a coffee plant, my beautiful manjula pothos that she wasn't even gonna sell. Um, but I begged her because I drove 11 hours and it's a little, Stingray mutation. My small little Cebu Blue, another rehab orchid. I don't know if I already said that. Another Cebu Blue I ordered online from Cuttings. A uh, lemon lime philodendron I also ordered online from, Dust um, from Cuttings on Etsy. I believe this is called a 
pink confetti syngonium. Love it. Another Pothos Enjoy, Pothos Snow Queen, and a Philodendron Brazil. I believe that's a Diffenbachia or a Dumcame. Another Sansevieria, or I guess my first Sansevieria I'm showing you, a Croton, a Tanniki rubber plant, which, gosh, look at those gorgeous leaves. Aloe, I got from my boyfriend this aloe garden on Christmas, which I love. This pretty little parlor palm. <laughs> I love the alliteration. Peperomia, that I don't know exactly what type, but wow, look at that sunlight hitting her. I believe that is a Peperomia frost. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Don't know what kind of Peperomia this is, uh, but I know it is a Peperomia or a Pylea. Um, this is a Peperomia, needs to be watered. It is a Pylea Peperomoides uh, money plant. Another Peperomia, which I don't know what's called. I wanna bring this one to the sunlight though. To show you, wow, look at that gorgeous. That's gorgeous. And then another Peperomia, which is just like this one, but variegated, which probably needs some water. A succulent garden, a Santeveria that I have propagating, um, another succulent garden. Up here, I have my regular um, philodendron scandens or philodendron uh, cordatum or Hartley philodendron, whatever you want to call it first ever, well, my longest surviving plant. It keeps dying. And then I have little pieces of what I call insurance like that. And uh, I bring it back to life. And this little succulent garden, a little Hoya cutting that used to have more leaves, but I killed all the other leaves and now this one is rooted and I don't know what to do with it. Um, and again, this is another cactus I killed, but somehow it had a little piece that came back to life and put off this little tiny ball of growth. A cactus fern from cutting, um, and this little monstera cutting that is the star of the show because she browned and did all this, and so I took her off a plant and I stuck her in water and she decided that she's going to root and put off a leaf. Um, I believe that that is just some jade, a monstera adansonii from cutting from my sister's plant, which I just keep chopping and propping it. Another star, the Philodendron Birkin, which I am giving more light so it can have more um, variegation. I believe that these are both burgundy rubber trees, but this one has a different stem color than that one. So give me a, give me a comment if you know which one that is. I mostly bought it because it looks so healthy and it has lots of stalks. Over here, wow star of the show star of the show is my ruby rubber tree and this i found this and i gasped this is a ficus audrey i don't think it's uncommon but it's so beautiful over here is a little chop and prop i'm working on it's from a golden pothos that a friend of mine gave me that was just two vines that was 16 feet long so i cut it up now it's going to give me about three plants from the two plants this is a trascantia zebrina or wandering drew i don't know what this is called but i feel like it should be called medusa hair because that that's that's medusa and that's her hair another succulent garden thingy a propagation station this is a sansevieria but i like to call her um my my dr seuss tree I believe that is a Pylea Baby Tears, a uh, Christmas Cactus, a Monstera Deliciosa with one fenestrated leaf that has been through a lot, but she's putting off new growth, so she might fenestrate soon. Um, this is a Schifflera regular version, or an umbrella tree. Another aloe. Over here we have a polka dot plant, who I want to push out. And we have a little coleus. Up here, we have my big coleus, which I turned around so she can be saying hi to us. Um, this is my coleus that I'm trying to bonsai, uh, but in case it doesn't work, that's why I have that little cutting down there. I think this is called a baby iceberg or something like that. 
little jade propagation. Um, and this is, I think this is just the regular syngonium, like the most plain syngonium, but it's my favorite just because how beautiful these are. Don't know what kind of succulent this is, but it, I, I had the name at one point. Um, I don't know what it is though right now, but I love it. It started as one of these and now it's this big. It's from that 16 feet long pothos. Um, this is my pineapple propagation, which I just got from the head of a pineapple and stuck it in water for a month or two until it had roots and then put it in there. And then this is my variegated chiflera, which actually looks real happy right now, but is usually not very happy. Um, and I'm trying with her, so give me tips. If you I believe this is called a chocolate covered cherry coleus, which has a little bit of rootage, which I'm gonna propagate and put probably bonsai. More propagations, a caladium, a cellium or a lickety split philodendron, a little tiny fiddly fig. This is another like propagation thingy. Uh, that's a mystery cactus, which my boyfriend lopped off the head of. Um, some San Severia in there and some mother of thousands babies. And then this mystery plant, I have a suspicion is also a mother of thousands. These are called my Florida babies. Uh, there's two kinds of aloe, a bromeliad, and two bird nests, Sansevieria, which uh, my boyfriend's stepmom got from her grandma's lawn in Florida. More propagation station, wish me luck that that actually sprouts some roots. It's been sitting there for a while. A beautiful Peperomia obtusifolia and a Croton Sansevieria cylindrica, a Thai plant. I goblet of string of tears my rapid four touch sperma with its first fenestrated leaf my bird of paradise and my big beautiful shiny because i just cleaned it fiddly fig marble queen pothos which that's my favorite leaf back there uh, from cuttings. My first ever pothos from cuttings. Back here we have a kangaroo paw fern, two maiden hair ferns and a blue star fern. This Scindapsis exotica and my lemon tree. Let me get you a better view of this lemon tree my lemon tree, it has grow lights. And this one, which is probably my only rare plant, but it is my variegated pink lemon tree. This giant spathophyllum, or peace lily, uh, variegated English ivy, and this hanging string of pearls, which is just starting to hang. <laughs> and this is, um, this is the last plant I have to show you. This is Jack-Jack. He loves to be in the plant room, don't you, dude? There's so many things that can kill him, but he just has to go and rub up on the plants. Now in here around my bathtub, I have another croton, which is just the bush and fire kind, a spider plant, which um, I had in our too bright area. Um, another golden pothos, which is just in this little teeny tiny planter my mom gave me on this, which is four different kinds of pothos. Lastly, that is the um, gifted golden pothos that was like 16 feet long and uh, for an I don't know what kind. All right guys, well that's all that I have for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed my plants over